leave it to me to find something strange. Look what I just found. I'm not sure if it's some type of egg, but it kind of looks like it, even though there's nothing in it. So, if you came across this video, you are almost there. This is just confirmation. This video, this message is a confirmation to you to continue moving forward. Do not give up on yourself. Even if it starts to feel like you had some type of momentum going and then it maybe subsided or like it calmed down. I'm gonna be checking like that throughout the video because the waves are really waving. Hold on. Okay, this video is just confirmation to you to keep going and to keep moving forward. There are going to be periods of time where it will feel like, okay, I had such a good momentum going and then everything started to calm down and you'll start to feel like, well, wait, like, did I do something wrong? Like, am I on the wrong path? No, you are on the right path. You are on the path that you are supposed to be on. You are making all the right moves. Continue to, to move forward. And I know that there's people that will feel like, okay, what can you do in order to, I guess, confirm to yourself that you're on the right path? It's important to pay attention to how you feel, especially after making certain types of decisions. It's very, very, very important. Also, don't give up on what you're doing either. Like, don't give up on yourself, but the work that you've been putting in, don't slack on that either. Just because it starts to relax or it starts to calm down like I said the momentum the momentum what I mean by that is like you do things and you're actually starting to see results and sometimes it's like instant results and it's back to back to back to back you know a momentum is going where you feel like you're just moving forward you just keep going in the direction that you want to go into and when you start to see that you know you start to get used to that and feel like all th throughout the whole process that it's going to be like that where it's just back to back to back to back and like there's not going to be any points where there's going to be some settling type of energy or like some settled type of energy which you know like I said if you're watching this then you probably know exactly what I'm talking about it does happen and that doesn't mean that what you've been doing isn't working it's still definitely working and you're moving even closer to it and so just continue with that you are ready to be the best version of yourself you are ready for the life that the higher version of yourself is living don't think that you are not ready. Do not think that you are not capable. Do not think that you have to continuously over prepare to be the best version. What a lot of times makes someone the best version of themselves or living that life is because they do the things that that version of themselves would be doing. And so if you know that you're doing those things, that's how you know that you are exactly where you need to be. You are at the right place at the right time you don't need to overthink the situation at all just allow yourself to be you know and that's also why it's very important that you take time to yourself like even in short periods of time you don't have to like take like a whole like five hours to to meditate or anything like that i just mean if you start to feel like you're confused or you start to feel like you just need some type of reassurance it's really good to like just take a step back and to actually look at what you're doing look at the decisions that you've been making and you can even look at the old decisions you used to make so basically in some sense not necessarily compare and contrast because all of this is needed to get you to the place that you are now but just look at how different the decisions that you're making now are compared to how they used to be you know and that is also a confirmation as well looking at the changes and seeing that something has definitely changed seeing that there's some type of difference within yourself and your decision making and seeing that even the decisions that you've been making obviously have manifested in front of you with your decisions speaking of the past right where what i was talking about with looking at the decisions and just looking at how different your decisions are compared to now it's also important to make sure that you're no longer holding on to that past version of yourself and knowing that you've already released that version of yourself and that you have created room for the new version of yourself to come into your life and to flourish, that's also how you know as well. 
it's very important not to hold on to the past because basically what I'm just saying, like there's not gonna be any room for the new things to come into your life. There's not gonna be any room for new people to come into your life. There's not gonna be any room for the new life that you want. If you're constantly holding on to things from the past, if you have not surrendered and relinquished any of the things that you feel like would hold you back, that's very, very, very important. And you probably have already done that. It's just very important that you keep the mindset that you are deserving. Do not allow any imposter syndrome to take over your mind. Do not allow any self-doubt to take over your mind. Do not let any negative thoughts overtake your mind. It is so important that you maintain on seeing your own life. You know, because as much as someone else can tell you, it's okay to, you know, seek perspective from another individual because that also contributes towards the overall plan but it's also so important that you also believe in yourself as well. As much as someone else could do it for you, like believe in you, for things to actually change, you have to be the one to believe in yourself. And so it is very, very, very important that you understand that you are deserving. It can be uncomfortable if you're not used to getting what you want. It can be uncomfortable to really see that this is actually happening in real life, that you're just literally getting everything that you want. But at the same time, you have to take that, that second to reassure yourself that this is what was meant for you. Being abundant means that anything that you want, you are capable of having. It is pivotal that you understand that you are abundant what makes you abundant in comparison to everyone else abundance for me to explain it to you right we all have energy inside of our body that is a fact energy cannot be created or destroyed that is a fact knowing that how each Knowing how energy works, and I'm pretty sure if you're watching a video like this, you've already had your own personal experiences with manifestation. So knowing all of that is also what should be giving you that reassurance that you are an abundant person and that's something that you should know, not even just believe. That's something that you should know and have a deep understanding of it. And that will benefit you. You'll start to see that things will be even easier. And that's not to say that you won't have to work hard sometimes you know and work hard in the sense that just putting effort behind the decisions that you're you're doing like the decisions and the actions that you're making effort being put behind there and I don't mean work hard like struggle I always like to make that clear it's not about just struggling and, and doing everything the harder way instead of the smarter way you know that's not to say that no challenges will present themselves of course there will it's a part of the process you know some people maybe don't look at it from this perspective but those hard times that you do go through are a part of why you're even capable of experiencing the good times you know the positive times um a quote that i i said last time was if you do not have if you're not capable of fear you do not have the capacity for courage and literally what that means is if you're not able to be scared of something sometimes and allow that fear to be there and then to overcome it you know what i'm saying because some people think that it's just a thing where you just strictly supposed to be positive all the time and you completely ignore how you feel you completely ignore the negative emotions it's not about that it's a balance of both you know which you will see the more that you go on even myself i've personally experienced where i was on a momentum and then things started to settle and I was wondering about whether or not I was on the right path. And that is why I'm speaking on this to let you know that those kind of thoughts do come about, but this is just a video to confirm to you that you are still on the right path. Like that is something that does happen and it is a normal thing to have those types of thoughts. It's just very important that you just get yourself right back on track with how your, your, your mind works. 
get yourself on track as far as the way that you're thinking about the situation and also view it from a different perspective don't view when things kind of slow down as like you're doing something wrong or it shouldn't be like that or like you've made the complete wrong decision and that you're not on the right path because it's not what it means there's a balance with it you know everything can't always be super 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 high all the time you know that's just not how it works here which i'm sure that you know or if you don't know this is me telling you that it doesn't work like that all the time sometimes there are lows or settlements that happen and then you overcome that and you continue to move forward it's just about continuing to make the same exact decisions that you were making before that caused you to have that progress that you made in the first place if you resonated with anything i spoke about in this video consider liking subscribing and sharing so that this video reaches someone who may also need to hear this message just know that i was serious about everything that i spoke about you are on the right path just keep going you know i am creating a community for specific things like this like where just guidance and information but more i guess specific to people so that because I, I know how it can feel that's basically why i'm also doing it because i know how certain feelings can can fester and how you might be feeling in certain situations and you know guidance is just something or like clarity is just something that could be very beneficial and i have an understanding of that but i appreciate you for watching bye